Hey guys, just wanted to update on the how the snail is doing in my tank. So this is about 25 baby snails. They haven't grown up yet in my tank. And uh, in, in a few weeks and uh, they are doing very well in this tank. Before adding the snails, I added some uh, rainwater from the gutter. So the algae was actually starting to grow. The water was a little murky. But now, after about two weeks, and you can see there's no green spots on the glass. There's no sign of algae at all in this tank. And so I guess they are doing their job, eating the algae. And just to supplement their, their food, um, sometimes I give, give them some um, fish food and in case there's not enough algae to eat. So the fish food, as you can see, uh, for example, this, you can add the flake food or this kind of a goldfish pellets. Just add a, a, a few of them. They will be floating on the water and later they will sink and the, the snails will be happily sucking on them. Uh, but here's the question. Like, snails and other, some other invertebrates, um, like clams, they grow their shells. Right, uh, so they, they need a lot of calcium. So how do you add more calcium for these guys? So basically, after some research, I've decided there are several ways to do this. Uh, first, um, to to do it fast, uh, or for those filter guys like uh, like clams, you can just save your eggshells and just pulverize them like into a powder and, and, and with some water. So you just pour the, uh, the water with the, with the eggshell powder into the water, into the tank. So that will create a little bit of uh, water quality issue, but it will, it will be digestible by the, by the clams. But for snails, actually, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is add some cal calcium for them to eat. And uh, things that's rich of calcium, and you see have added here, just a pig soft bone. This is kind of the, the soft white bone you, when you eat like uh, uh, the pig ribs or something like that, even, even beef. I think uh, a lot of animals you eat, they have the soft bone in there. And just strip off the meat in case they, they rot in the water, they decompose. Uh, strip off the whole meat and just drop the bone in the water. For the first day, they won't notice it. But then after one or two days, once the water softens the surface, they start to smell it, I guess, and so they come happily gnawing on the soft bone. So that give them that should give them some calcium in the body. And this is the slow, uh, fastest way, I guess. And a slower way would be to add the seashells. Like this one, we have a oyster shell I got from the the seashore. So this big guy is happily chewing on it. But this is harder, so it's, it takes slower to absorb the calcium compared to the pig, pig soft bone. You can also add, uh, if you can't find these, guys, these things, you can also add the cuttlefish bone, which is sold in pet stores because mm -hmm, it's used for the like parrots or something, the birds, to gnaw on. But if you, if you put them in there, they just float in the tank. I guess you have to tie them down to the bottom. Actually, because uh, the people recommend tying them down, they don't know the snails can actually swim. So you can actually go to the surface and try to eat them as well. But tying down probably is the best because they can easily access those things. Or you can just say, uh, if those things are too exotic, you don't have them, Fish bone work. A big fish, the, the, the center, like big bone, just strip off the meat and just drop it in there. After a few days, it's going to soften and the snails will be happily crawling over them. So that's it for the snail calcium issue. We'll keep you updated on this tank.